Welcome to The Exchange. Amanda Lang is away. I'm Diane Buckner. Our first story tonight, a look at the difference between tax avoidance and tax evasion. Both frowned upon, but one a gray area of ethics and responsibility. Luxembourg is one of the smallest countries in the world and one of the richest. Today we got a closer look at why. It is the premier pit stop for deep-pocketed companies and their tax strategies. The International Consortium of Investigative Journalists got its hands on nearly 28,000 pages of confidential documents. They reveal more than 340 companies channel hundreds of billions of dollars through the tiny European nation to avoid paying billions in taxes. Among the names, Pepsi, Apple, AIG and IKEA. In some cases, these companies enjoyed a tax rate on a portion of their sales of less than 1%. The documents show, for example, FedEx moved profit from Mexico through Luxembourg to Hong Kong. And Luxembourg agreed to tax only a quarter of 1% of what flowed through its borders. The documents were shared with CBC News and there is a Canadian link. One of the largest pension funds in the country had a secret tax arrangement with Luxembourg. The Public Service Pension Investment Board set up subsidiaries there in 2008 to buy real estate in Germany. That opened a legal loophole and the agency avoided paying 20 million dollars in German taxes. It also paid virtually no tax in Luxembourg. In an email to CBC News, the pension board's vice president said this approach was used by other investors and was consistent with German case law. We respectfully disagree with the characterization of our actions as aggressive tax avoidance. The CBC's Peter Armstrong has been following this story today and he is here to discuss. Now, Peter, we should start by mentioning that this Public Sector Pension Investment Board is investing on behalf of Canadian Forces, the Public Service, the, the RCMP, RCMP mm -hmm. uh, good causes. However, to see that um, they've uh, participated in this tax avoidance scheme, it's a bit embarrassing, is it not? It, it doesn't look particularly good, especially, I, I think it's less who they represent than the fact that the board in, in charge of, of this is appointed by the federal government, and this is a federal government that has said they're trying to crack down on loopholes in, in tax code, and, and this really is an exploitation of a loophole that has since been closed by the German government. The, they, it is perfectly legal what they did. They, they, they went to some great lengths to, to find a way within the loopholes that existed, but they went through existing loopholes. There is no recourse here. No Nobody's in any particular trouble, but I think you're right. I, I think it's a perception issue more than anything that this is the federal government saying we, you know, we're, we're out there trying to crack down on this. We're trying to keep Canadian companies from, you know, avoiding Canadian taxes. And here's a Canadian company avoiding, in this case, paying German taxes, which you know sort of takes a bit of the sting out of it here in Canada. But from a perception point, no less. Yeah. Well, a number of people have been pointing out. I guess it was. Gee, January of 2013, mm -hmm. that Canada joined, yeah. uh, you know, with the OECD and in calling shame on all these yeah. corporations that have been pulling these moves and uh, very cleverly, as you say, not breaking any laws, but managing to put their effective tax rate way, way down. And Canada was right on board there, saying this is absolutely wrong. And and and, and I think you know that's at the heart of it. And I think at the beginning, when you said this is a the, this is a, a debate over what is tax avoidance and what is tax evasion. Uh, and you know, you, you heard from from the pension plan itself saying that, that this was an aggressive tax evasion, but they're trying to find ways of saving money. And in this case, it was you know a three hundred and ninety million dollar deal, and they saved twenty million dollars in taxes. And I, I did mention it earlier, but I want to just sort of make it abundantly clear: the twenty million dollars in taxes was not to the Canadian government; it was to the German government. That's the the, the loophole that they were able to exploit and not pay those taxes to the German government. Uh, but you're right; the Canadian government's been on board trying to fix this. Here they have a, a board trying. To, to get our pension plan, trying to get out ahead of the loopholes. But at the same time, you kind of have to think if, if, you know, if my pension plan was out there trying to make a little bit extra money for me, I, I'd probably be on board as long as it was above board. Uh, and this is, this is a case of that. It wasn't illegal, you, you know. Well, and in fact, uh, one of the comments I saw uh, was uh, an article in Bloomberg that was noting the larger scope of this, because of course, as we mentioned, all kinds of companies yeah. were caught up in this expose, and it referred to Canada as the unlikely suspect to be participating in something along these lines, but also referred to our tax-avoiding prowess. So, I mean, in some circles, this sort of, of thing here. is uh, admired, that, oh, you've yeah. done this legally and you've managed to save some tax money, although I know 
that uh, Tony Clement was taking pains today to, in some way, distance the oh, government sure, from it, saying, sure. you know, and, it's and not the government, it's arm's makes length. Perfect sense. And like I said, the directors are appointed by the federal government, but they don't answer to the federal government. They, they run this pension plan as they see fit. And, and two points you made there. One, it was an incredibly complex scheme. I mean, the, the rule was if you own 95 percent, then you have to pay this land transfer fee. So they went and they bought up a bunch of small companies in Luxembourg. They went out and bought up 94.5 percent of this company and thus were able to avoid the, uh, uh, avoid the taxes. That's an interesting thing. The other thing is that, that Canada being an unlikely player in this, you have to think a, a Canadian pension plan, public service pension plan, up there with, who do we have, PepsiCo, FedEx, uh, you know, Amazon, the, Amazon, like really I, big Apple. companies that were playing really big roles uh, in trying to, to, to keep their bottom You're in starting line. That's to sound not like where you, you would impressed. normally think. You're starting I don't to know about impressed, here. but it, it, <laughs> it, it, it isn't where you usually see a, a, a federal workers' pension plan uh, the company that they usually keep. No, but it does draw in, uh, as we say, all these different ethical questions of is it right to avoid tax? Yes, it's legal, but you know, if, if the government is going to get on board to try and say how wrong all these corporations are, then it better practice what it is. Oh, and you can bet the federal government will have a discussion with the directors of this pension plan. I'm sure. Thank you so much, Peter. You bet.